Well, it's JK here. So uh, this video is on Onboard Diagnostics 2 for the EP3 obviously, but it's for any car really. So uh, the other day I was thinking to myself, I'd really love to know what my BHP is running at, brake horsepower. From new, the car is boxed in as 197, 200 brake basically. Uh, but the question is, <clears throat> what is the brake running at today? Because as we all know, as cars get older, they lose but because of wear and tear, they lose uh, efficiency and they lose BHP for various reasons, compression, you know, dirty fuel, all that jazz. So now the car is turned, I'd like to know what the BHP is. So first thing I had to do was figure out how to use my OBD connection uh, device, which I did. It's an Elm 327, which I'll show you shortly, connected to my MacBook Pro via cable. Uh, I bought this years ago, but now you can get Wi-Fi ones that connect directly to your iPhone or Android. So if I were you, I'd buy one of those, uh, which I've seen here. And you can get them on eBay for, well, 13 quid, Pumpkin, which is a brand I've heard before. Uh, mine's was only 8 quid. Mine's a cheaper one, but it's USB based. And then uh, the other thing is the software that people seem to be going on about is it's called Dash Command. And it gives you useful information, it gives you speed and RPM, the power output, which is what I'd want. You know, it's all the data I'm after, but from your phone rather than your PC or Mac. And this guy, it's got good reviews, only a couple of reviews there, but this guy there, he's using the Pumpkin BD2, which is the one we just saw on eBay for 13, 14 quid. He's using that with his iPhone or Android using Dosh Command, and that tells him his brake horsepower at RPM and engine load and fuel economy and all that jazz. So test driving, I'd take one of these with me as well. And you just plug it in the ODB thing, which I'll show you shortly. I'll show you it now actually. So it's actually connected there. So there you can see the ODB interface input there on the EP3 Type R, next to the clutch basically. And then it's connected to my MacBook Pro and so on. So if we have a quick look at what, what it's telling us about my car. The software I'm using is some, it's called Auto Doctor and I don't think it's as, it's the best. You know, there's loads available. This is just for Mac, but if you're going to do it yourself, that's what I'd do if I were you, because it's wireless. But if we go into my software, it's quite interesting. So it shows my car is running, you know, it's past all the readiness motors. That means there are any faults, which there aren't. So that's good info straight away once you, you turn it on and test driving. These are all the codes that you can check for. I, 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 you know, I've literally just started using it, so it's uh, something I won't go through here because I haven't got a clue myself, basically. All these sensors here you need to set up. But what I have set up is real-time data, engine RPM. So if we go, so there you can see the revs are rising. There you go, that's your RPM, and then it, it tells you your fuel, your air intake, the speed you'd be going. And then if you go to the, uh, uh, where is it, somewhere, there, th there's where you select what, what data you want to log. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an option for BHP, which is what I'm interested in. Everything else I know is fine. All I can get is RPM. Uh, that would be quite interesting, ignition timing. So... Uh, but yeah, there you go, you can see it's recording RPM, and if I took it for a ride, which I'm not going to do because I can't be bothered at the minute, um, we'd see what what temperature the air is coming in the engine, what speed we're doing, what RPM, and what the engine temperature is running at. We, the air temperature should be constant, should never rise or fall, so that'd be interesting once it's re reached its uh, optimum operating temperature. So yeah, that's just a very quick video on uh, ODM2 and uh, as I say, if I were you and you're going out test driving cars, I'd get one of these wireless ones because it connects to your Android or your iPhone and I'd uh, look around, I mean this is this is 7 quid, this well 8 quid this software is, but there's other ones, there's loads, you know this is just one I found quickly on Google, but it does tell you BRP. The only thing I'm not um, sure about is will it record the data? Uh, the good thing about having a MacBook or a laptop is you can record this data so you know you can go home and look at it 
but on the iPhone I'm not sure or the Android I don't know if you can record it or not you'd have to be watching it as if you were looking at your sat nav which is a bit useless to me but it might be alright for you but I suppose on a test drive if you could see that the Type R was running at 180 brake or 190 brake or less if it runs less you know there's something wrong so it's to stay away from the car when buying it so uh, yeah get one of those basically and take it with you on your test drive and just plug it into the ODB2 uh, slot and start recording it so you can see what BHP the car engine is running at. If it's not, if the Type R is not running at 200 brake or if it's very low BHP, you know something's wrong.